it, it, it could be called the heart of day party because I mean I feel like I just got home from that party last night. Like I, I, I don't know if I've seen a more epic movie or been to a more epic party in uh in, in in a long time. I think for the movie it might be ever because this was one of the, my dad loves westerns, but this was like an official like he when he sees this he's gonna give it that stamp of approval. Like this was an official western. So I loved it. Uh, first, why haven't we seen you two on screen together prior to this? I, I love seeing Idris and Regina together. Like you have, you have seen us in a movie together. We did uh, this Christmas together. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, how was it reuniting and playing in, in these characters as as Rufus Buck and uh, Terrible Trudy? Treacherous Trudy. Treacherous. Trudy. <laughs> Yeah, Trudy wouldn't have have that. He, he, you may not uh, survive this interview if you had said that. <laughs> it was good to reunite. It was. I mean, it was something we've been wanting to do, and um, we got a chance to to do it. Wasn't enough, in my opinion. You know, I think we still got to have a, a Idris Regina joint. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm with that. And I'm glad that you, you, you recognize that, Jamal, because, you know, uh, in this industry, you get to meet people that you work with, you you know, it's a transient sort of industry, but there's certain people that just stick to your bones and you go, ah, I want to do it again. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm honest, you know, I'd love Ju Regina to work with me as an actor or as a director. I think she's incredible. Yeah. What was the habit that, that, that cast the producers with, with Jay Z, you got you got Tendo at Netflix. You got James Samuel uh, directing, and you got James Lasseter. Just to have all of that, you know, mixed with this great black cast. How does it feel like do this excellence with such a huge black team of talent? I mean, I know there's other people also, but just have all of us together doing that, and to have the successful film. Like, how did that feel as artists to see to see this project through? Man. Um, look, you know, you know, bear in mind, we're in 2021 now, this, the, 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 the beginning of this production wise is 2020, you know, and the conversation that we all know now had ha that's happened about, you know, black people in not only just America, but in the world has happened, but it hadn't happened at the time when we made this film. So now it is like incredible. It's like we look at each other and go, wow. Yes, we made something that contributes to why we need to be at the table, why you need to hear our voices. Um, you know what I mean? Regina, what do you think? No, no, I agree 100 percent. And, and you know, we the cast has been likened to uh, the Black Avengers, but it was the Black Avengers behind the scenes, too, you know, mm -hmm. that that wanted this to be for all of the reasons that Idris just stated. Mm -hmm. well, well, as a critic, I love it. As a fan, I love it. You know, it just, I, I love you, but I, like Regina is like my number one, day one, I'm biggest Regina, Regina King fan ever. But, but I mean, I think the, I think the audience is going to really, I'm really excited. I'm, I haven't been this excited for the audience to see a film that I screen uh, as I am now. I can't wait till everybody gets this in the conversation and the ether and, um, and, and love you guys, man. Thanks for putting on a great show. Thanks for putting it together. Can't wait to see you guys get together for that that other Idris and Regina Regina film. And uh, y'all be y'all be well. Thanks for your time. Good to Thanks. see you, Mom.